Kamehameha. Who's Kamehameha? <laughs> I dropped some of this on uh, IG, man. And, you, know, you had your true uh, Dragon Ball Z ears came out and said, It's not, don't pronounce it Kamehameha. Pronounce it Kamaya, Kamaya. And I said, Yeah, but what if it's Kamaya, Kamahawa? I said, oh, drop. There you go again. <laughs> Kamehameha. Wow. I like Kamehameha. How you going to tell me how to say Kamehameha? Just because Dragon Ball Z say it a certain way? It got you brainwashed? Maybe it's Kamehameha. I do me, you do you. You know who we talking about. The king of Hawaii. 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 Yeah, we're going to get some of this Kamehameha drop, man. We're going to get some Kamehameha drop, but first you got to take it to the Dragon Ball Z's, man. Got to go to the Dragon Ball Z's. Only if you're serious about your Kamehameha. Click the links below, man. Oh, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Hi, Jack. Hi, Jack. Kamehameha. I ain't saying it nothing crazy. I'm just pronouncing it this way. Maybe it's a Kamaya Kamaya. Hey, that's cool. Kamaya. Kamehameha. 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 Or Kamehameha. I like my way better. I don't know, man. You do you. You do you. We're just talking energy, frequency, and vibration, man. Shabbat Shalom to the home team. Get in the ether. Make sure you're in the ether. All right? Make sure you be a dragon sponsor on the wall. Make sure you're listening in to the drop. We got a Shabbat show every Friday, 10 o'clock Pacific, man. Make sure you tune in to that Hakan Higher Mark. That's about to be hitting y'all over the head, man. My homie Nolski is about to come in and do a great, uh, you know, two-hour traffic jam, man. I mean, all that's happening right here on the drop, man. Right now, we're in the drop stream. The drop stream, man. We got the drop artist popping, so I'm just saying get in the ether. Be a dragon sponsor on the wall. So far, we got six dragon sponsors on the wall already, man. Much of hop to the tribe. We need 600, man. We need 6,000, man. Every bit of your drop. You know what I'm saying? The tribe today got their uh, first Ether payouts, man. So we have six Dragon sponsors. That's 200, a total of $275 a month we got coming in. We got one Gold Dragon sponsor, two Silvers, I think four Copper Dragons. And that 275 gets divided 22 ways. 22 ways, all right, and it goes into all the tribe that's dropping in the ether, man, doing it, man, for the drop, so I think we all got about 12 bucks a piece, you know, but at least we know every month we got that $12 coming in, so, hey, man, you might want to buy a book, you might want to buy a book, you just sponsored, man, look, man, Drop Nation, you just sponsored 22 paperback books, man, <laughs> all right, and we look forward to growing, and I mean, that's what we can do with... With only six Dragon sponsors, you're buying books for 22 tribal members every month. I mean, you can look at it that way. Or we can put our $12 together, man, and we can get a real big book. <laughs> but that's just with six Dragon sponsors, man. Imagine what we can do with 60. Imagine what we can do with 600. Imagine what we can do with 6,000. Imagine what we can do when we put our money together. We're buying books today. We're buying land tomorrow. So... This is our exodus. Support our exodus. It, it, it pushes us forward, man. Subscribe, man. Make sure you got all the drop. Make sure you uh, get in the lineup, man, in that TDR live schedule. I'm about to do another schedule update. We're always being framed and shaped. This is updated as of June 2010. So what I mean by... Hold on, man. Let me get that a high. Get that a high. What I mean by 22 members, you see them right here, man. 
a high, my jigger, Yosef the real, RKJ, AD the truth seeker, Yohanna the Hebrew prince, Karen Mayo, Ban Hawa, Exiles, KB the hijacker, Cezanne, Templar Irvin Reed, Poetry, Thai Battle, CJ Battle, Aqua Miss D, and the Cup of Color Awakening, the Perky Perspective, she's just launched her brand new show, episode one. It's an amazing joy, man. She has an amazing podcast, man. Uh, Big Brother Nature, Con Fresh, Chef Candy. We got a new DJ, DJ Smooth J. About to be spinning every Thursday at 9 o'clock, man. Oh, man. Hire Mark hitting you over the head, man. Isaac Ford with the Frequency Rehab. You count it up, man. Including, including me, that's 22, man. 22 is a master number. 22 is a master number, man. So support the tribe. Become a dragon sponsor on the wall. Click the link below. And support our exodus. You know what I mean? This is our residual flow coming in so that we can plan on it. So that we can plan together and get to where we need to go. La wa. Get in the drop chatter box, man. We've been chatting all night. Love to Yolanda. That was her first time in the drop chat, man. Tide battles, man, in the chat. Doing what it do. Shot battle, Chef Candy. Zeke, man. Shout out to Isaac Ford. Uh, he had a live uh, interview last night just discussing, you know, his role as a music supervisor, music director for 432 to drop radio, keeping us vibing up, keeping us vibing strong. And, you know, he just let us in on his life, man. And, you know, what it means, man, to be hijacked free, man. That's all we're talking about. So getting the drop chatter is too real too true and yes I am yes I am <laughs> the carbon surfer man. let go dragon sponsors on the wall we just talking Kamehameha 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 wa. Kamehameha. <coughs> Let go. Oh man, it's gonna be good. Kamehameha the Great was the Hawaiian conqueror and king who united the Hawaiian Islands and founded the Kamehameha Dynasty. Or Kamehameha, Kamehameha, however you want to say. Synopsis. Kamehameha was born 1758 in Ka Kahala. Kahala. You see the Hebrew all over the place. You see the Hawa all over the place. When King Kala Niopu died, in 1782. Now, tie this into the whole, uh, you know, the Hawaiian volcanoes, what they call Pele. You know what I mean? You've seen pictures of Naga Negro Pele with locks, the dragon kings, the dragon queens. And here's another one. Probably the, the last, the last dragon king holding down Hawaii. His son, Kiwalao, and his nephew, Kamehameha. Now, since the island was divided between his son and his nephew, so it's his son is Kawala, and his nephew is also Kamehameha. It's a title, right? And they battle, and others for control of the island. He eventually succeeded and went on to take over most of the majority of nearby territories by 1810. So he's a priest king, he's taking it over. Kamehameha had become ruler of all the Hawaiian islands and died in 1819, man. That's well after Columbus, right? Remember, there was still a Naga king, a Negro king on the throne way out in England, right? So in 1751, 
So, so much of our history failed, man, right around this time in the 1800s. It seems like our takeover was right around this time. Early life, King Kamehameha I was born into Hawaiian royalty. His mother, Kekui Poiwa, Wa, you see that Wa, man, all over the place, was the daughter of the Kona chief. There were reportedly many prophetic signs that he would be a great leader. Man, all this stuff sounds like Jesus, right? You know, oh, there's a prophetic sign of his birth, the stars, right? What star? Let's go. There were reportedly many prophetic signs, so the prophets knew that a messenger was coming to unite what? United the Hawaiian Islands. Founded the Kamehameha Dynasty. We're talking royalty. There were reportedly many prophetic signs that he would be a great leader, including being born around the time that Haley's Comet lit up the Hawaiian night skies in 1758. Haley's Comet? Were we talking comets? Well, I just, I mean, we had that comet drop. We, we about to get back in our fireballs, back in our comets, you know, just. I'm just wondering, in 1828, definition of a dragon, kind of winged serpent, okay, romances, middle ages, a fiery shooting meteor, or comet, meteor, comet, meteor, or, or comet, imaginary serpent. So you know we're not talking to snake, because that's not that imaginary. We see snakes all over the place. But dragons though. But dragons though. Swift, swift ye dragons of the night. What else? A fierce, violent person. So a person is a dragon, my naga. A person is also a dragon. So when you talk about these dragon kings, when you talk about Quetzalcoatl, how he wore a robe full of crosses, but he also became a rainbow dragon and formed this covenant in the sky, the rainbow, the rainbow covenant in the sky, the dragon rainbow, the rainbow Quetzal. A person, male or female, this man or woman is a dragon. And you know it's all over the script. We've been there and we'll, we'll be back there. But we're just talking meteors. <clears throat> <clears throat> we're just talking meteors. Or as they said, Haley's Comet lit up the Hawaiian eye, night skies in 1758. So a meteor, right? A meteor or a imaginary serpent or a dragon lit up the sky. You got to do the recon to get the drop. So a dragon lit up the sky, man. Eh? Or <laughs> remember, we, you know, we're just talking a prester, right? A prester, John, right? A priest king. What is a prester in 1828? American Dictionary, Webster Dictionary. A prester is a meteor, dog. Come on, man. What does a prester, a priest, have to do with a meteor or a comet or a Haley's comet? Why would it be prophetic? Why? Why is it a sign? Why is it a mark? Oh, we gonna get back on that mark, man. I wonder if I got that my kid. Let go. Oh yeah. Just gonna pull this up because we're gonna get back in. We're gonna get back in the mark, man. The Maquis Todros Ben Judah. Oh, yeah, we're gonna get back on this mark, man. Maquis Todros Theodorus, Rus, Theodoric, Axelox. The mark is the sign. The sign is the mark. 
The name Akir, the son of Manasseh, means selling, and Makir has been given as the original or origin of the name America. So Makir is America. Makir is the mark, is the promised land. X marks the spot, as it also has the name Maruk, or Mark. Tau, right? The Tau, the sign. Uh, we just getting started. A meteor thrown from the clouds is a precedent. Let's go. We're just talking meteors, comets. So he's born around the time that this meteor or this dragon or prester lit up the Hawaiian night skies in 1758. Warring clans saw him as a potential threat, just like the Jesus baby Jesus story, right? So they had to do what? He was hidden away for years to keep him safe. Hmm. Kamehameha, or Kamaya Kamaya, eventually returned to his family and began to train with his uncle, King Kalani Opu. <coughs> The ruler of the island of Hawaii. He proved himself to be a great warrior and was said to have been so strong that he could lift a 2.5 Naha stone. <laughs> and fear that according to what? Prophecy indicated the man who would unite the Hawaiian island. Unite the Hawaiian Island. Kamehameha also accompanied his uncle to meet famed English explorer James Cook on the ship, the Discovery, and fought with him in 1779, battle during which Cook was killed. Kamehameha. Kamehameha. We're just talking about the wave of what energy. We're talking about the mark, the prester, the prester, the mark, the machi, the maruk. Phantoms and duplicates.